There were many issues fueling the problems faced by agriculture in 2008, from high input costs and high commodity prices to the economic collapse we're still dealing with today. So what is the American Farm Bureau doing to stay ahead of the issues in 2009? This week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine is standing by with Farm Bureau President Bob Stallman to find out. A.J.? Thanks, Avery. And joining us now is American Farm Bureau President Bob Stallman. Bob, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Uh, thank you for having us here in San Antonio. It's been a great convention so far. What do you think a lot of uh, the delegates that are here at the convention want to hear from, from, from you guys this year? Well, they obviously uh, want to hear the information that are presented in our conferences. They want to hear about the successes that we've had, and they want to hear about where the challenges are going to be uh, for this coming year. And we've gone through that pretty well. We have a lot of them. Uh, and they want to know that we're really representing them. There's a lot of anxiety about uh, how the crop uh, price and input cost mix is going to work out uh, this coming year. There's anxiety in the livestock industry with some lower prices there. Uh, but all in all, I think producers are pretty optimistic because agriculture as a sector is in fairly good financial shape. President-elect Obama will be inaugurated in just a, a couple weeks. Uh, what do you think uh, the relationship is going to be with his administration in trying to maintain the uh, the, the, the good stead that we had last year into 2009? We're looking forward to working with uh, President Obama's administration. Uh, many of his choices thus far uh, for cabinet positions we view uh, very favorably. Uh, they're good centrist people with a lot of intelligence, a lot of experience in governance, uh, and we fully expect to kind of have a, have a middle of the road, if you will, or a centrist uh, way of governing, and that's good news for us. President-elect Obama has said that he thinks agriculture is important. He wants decisions based on sound science, uh, and we're looking forward to engaging and working with his administration. To that, uh, uh, to that um, you talked about taxation in your speech at the opening session uh, at this convention that we've seen video of. That taxation, especially particularly capital gains tax taxation is very important to Louisiana's farmers and ranchers. What is the American Farm Bureau going to do to kind of maintain uh, the status quo in terms of capital gains taxes? Well, we're going to follow our policy in that we want to reduce capital gains taxes for the very reason that uh, we are taxed more heavily uh, than other small businesses because we're very capital intensive. So capital gains taxes play a large role in taxation as we uh, uh, transfer assets, both acquire and, dis and uh, dispose of assets. So it's very important that we have a, a low capital gains tax. We think that's business friendly. And it's going to be our job to explain to the Obama administration and to members of Congress uh, how just how important that is to American agriculture specifically. Mr. President, last question is about biofuels. Uh, for a long time, particularly in Louisiana, we grow a lot of sugar cane, and our, our sugar farmers want to know when are we going to get on board with uh, cellulosic ethanol or other forms of ethanol that don't rely so heavily on corn. What is the American Farm Bureau going to do to kind of meet those issues for those farmers? Well, we're already uh, supporting and have supported legislation to move forward with uh, second generation ethanol, uh, uh, cellulosic based ethanol that comes from crop waste or other biomass that doesn't depend on just corn or sugar. Uh, but it's an, it's an issue of infrastructure, it's an issue of research, it's an issue of economics. But I think as long as we keep investing in that area, we will, will reach the day where we will be producing cellulosic ethanol to a greater extent than we are right now, say, with corn ethanol. Uh, but it's going to be a, a long process. that may have to maintain the policies in place to encourage production of renewable fuels to continue to build that infrastructure. Has the American Farm Bureau already talked to um, um, future Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, in that regard? Uh, we have not specifically. Uh, typically, when someone is named as a as a, is nominated, uh, they're really not allowed to uh, uh, talk with industry groups until their nomination is confirmed. Uh, but we do know that when he was governor of Iowa, the Iowa Farm Bureau Federation was very positive about his support for renewable fuels, and uh, we think that will continue. In fact, we think the entire Obama administration is going to be very supportive of renewable fuels. Well, Bob, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Have a great convention. He is President Bob Stallman of the American Farm Bureau Federation. We will have a lot more to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Please stay with us.